Today we're talking about pornography right here on Table Talk. Hey there, Ken Parrish here and welcome to Table Talk. Now you might be asking yourself, what does pornography have to do with this truck? Well, besides both being dirty, absolutely nothing. You know, just between the two of us, I think sex is great. <laughs> Everybody loves it. I mean, it's part of their makeup. It's part of our DNA. Um, in fact, I would argue that sex is probably one of the greatest gifts that God has given a husband and wife. I mean, it's what draws the husband to the wife, the wife to the husband. And it is through the, the power of sexual union that the two become one. And not only is sex good for the husband and wife, it's, it's good for the entire family as well. You see, when the husband-wife relationship is good, then the parent-child relationship is strong and good as well. You know, there's actually a purpose to sex, and I'm not necessarily referring to procreation. I mean, God has given us sex in order for the husband to intimately get to know the wife, and the wife to intimately get to know the husband. It's a way of showing a, uh, a type of vulnerability that otherwise could never be shown. It has a purpose of both giving and receiving. Sex is one of the most sacrificial and giving acts that a husband and wife could ever show each other. Pornography, on the other hand, is just the opposite. It provides none of these qualifications. There's no giving or receiving involved. There's no vulnerability. There's no intimacy involved. Pornography in and of itself is a selfish act. You know, there may not be anything more dangerous to a a moral life than that of pornography. Unfortunately, the world has welcomed pornography with open arms. Society today honors pornographers and has legitimized the business as an industry. But pornography is a Trojan horse type of sin. It sneaks in and it will destroy you before you even realize it. It can cause lasciviousness, which is sexual addiction, fornication, adultery, child pornography, pedophilia, and many other forms of immorality that you can imagine. The Bible tells us it's the love of sin that keeps us from Jesus Christ. You know, it's no secret that the human sexual appetite far exceeds that of its biological purpose. I mean, if it didn't, if it only matched the biological purpose, then we would probably have sex once, maybe twice in our lifetime, or we would be inundated with thousands of children. I believe that God intended for us to have sex for reasons beyond that of procreation. You see, sexual desire is what motivates a man to pursue a woman to marry her so that they can enjoy sex. And it is that same motivation that will make a man to continue to pursue his wife long after they're married. But it should never never be an invitation to pornography. Sexual desire 
should be a nudge toward marriage. Sexual appetite, when, when unchecked, can often lead to pornography. Women are out there flaunting their sexuality, as well as men. The Word of God tells us that when we look at somebody with, with lust in our hearts, then we've committed adultery. We are adulterers. We have committed a sin. From the woman who takes off her clothes to, to the person who photographs her, to the retailer who sells the image, to the person who buys and views it, they all will be accountable to God. And not just the men, but the women as well. Playgirl magazine is just as wicked as Playboy magazine. We have sunk so low spiritually that the average person doesn't even think twice about indulging in pornography. Roughly 40 billion people regularly visit pornography sites on the internet. 40 billion, that comes out to about a little over 28,000 users watching internet pornography each and every second. The Bible tells us that the root to all evil is the love of money. And the love of money is what fuels the pornography industry. I mean, think about it. If it weren't for the love of money, Hugh Hefner would not have started his publication back in 1954. In fact, roughly 12% of Internet sites are of a pornographic nature. Internet porn is an epidemic. It's estimated that the pornography industry's net worth is approximately $97 billion and growing. That's more than the NFL, NBA, and MLB combined. Every second, over $3,000 is being spent on internet pornography. In 2015, Pornhub, which is the industry's biggest provider of internet pornography, claims to have streamed 75 gigabits of data every second, or a total of 87.8 billion views. MindGeek, who owns Pornhub, Brazers, YouPorn, and Reality Kings, is one of the three bandwidth, con the top three bandwidth consuming companies in the world. The other two being Google and Netflix. Pornography will tear a family apart. With pornography use, marital infidelity increases more than 300%. Up to 40% of sex addicts lose their spouses, while 58% suffer considerable financial losses. Call me old-fashioned, call me boring, but I think that fidelity is the right way to go. You know, it's only through Jesus Christ that, that we can find true satisfaction and, and true happiness. Only thing pornography does is frustrate. Why frustrate yourself? Hang out with prostitutes and, and you may wind up in the doctor's office with some type of STD and some of those cannot be cured. Keep flirting with women. You may wind up with your teeth knocked out from some irate husband or boyfriend. Take a moment. Think about that. You know, the devil's only going to show you those bright neon signs and those smooth roads of pornography. But he's not going to show you where those roads may lead you. You know, God has given mankind sex in order for the husband to get to know the wife, the wife to get to know the husband, and the two can become one. 
Leave pornography in the gutter where it belongs. And trust God to show you the true meaning of sex. If you'd like to read further about this subject, check out the link in the description below. Until then, may the good Lord take a liking to you. Bye now.